What's up guys, this is Jim from the Pain PT and today we're going to talk about the topic of moving from bracing against your symptoms to embracing your symptoms. Again, moving from bracing against your symptoms to embracing your symptoms. And I'm going to talk today why this is important and how this applies to your nervous system and why we need to do this. Okay, so let's start with bracing. So what is bracing against your symptoms? Well, as it sounds, it means resisting, right? Or tightening or tensing or not wanting to feel our sensations, our symptoms, our feelings in the body. Okay, so anytime we brace up, we, we tense up, we tighten up, we resist. And as you guys know, what you resist will persist. Now, this also applies to your sympathetic nervous system, which is that stressed fight or flight sim uh, system. So when you're bracing, you're in a level of sympathetic. You're in a level of reaction from the brain to the body of releasing those chemicals that um, are just going to make things worse, right? Are going to amplify, exacerbate your current symptoms. Now, a lot of people um, are bracing, right? That's Actually, part of human nature is that our automated or automatic reaction is to brace and protect and try to move away or resist something that's very uncomfortable. We don't want to feel it. Now, like I've been telling you guys and teaching you guys that with this chronic stuff, what we're feeling are emotions in our body. We're not f just feeling a f sensory acute pain. It's actually an emotional pain that's coming out in a physical way. Now remember, emotions are symptoms. Emotions are physical sensations. So this is where people get confused. But I want you to treat your symptoms as emotions. And if you think of it as an emotion, you want to feel it. We need to, we want to let this feeling move through us. So the first step to doing that, to letting this feeling cloud or emotional clouds of sensations and symptoms that move through us, we first have to put our system in the right state for that to happen. Okay, so we, we can't do that in a very braced, protected, guarded, resistive state. Okay, that's sympathetic. It won't break down then. Things won't change. It'll just get worse, typically. So moving from bracing over here to embracing means we're starting to open up. Embracing is a word of opening, right? Allowing, accepting. It's also synonymous with that parasympathetic rest and digest nervous system. So when you start to mentally and physically embrace, which means relax your physical body in, into a pain, because it's probably already somewhat constricted and bracing, braced, and when we mentally embrace, which means we want to feel, we want to openly feel these feelings because they're emotions. So when we can put our system into that embracing state, we're entering the resting parasympathetic state. And then that system will start digesting what's been produced in your body, which are the symptoms. Okay, so embracing means erasing. What you embrace, you're going to erase. But before you can erase it, you have to enter that state, that parasympathetic state, which is the most important state, it's the healing state. Without doing that, it's very difficult or really impossible for your nervous system to start breaking down and releasing these stress chemicals that are coming out of symptoms. Okay, so this is the precursor to you getting rid of the stuff is to enter that state via em embracing, embracing it, via relaxing into what you feel, both mentally and physically, with no agenda, with no sort of doing or trying or fixing. It's just a state of being, a state of openness, a state of mindfulness can also be called or be synonymous with that parasympathetic. So a state of embracing. So I want you guys to think of it this way, that you probably are getting some automated bracing in reaction to an uncomfortable symptom. And what we want to do is we want to move from that shutdown state, 
constricted state to a state of opening, a state of relaxing, a state of accepting, a state of allowing, a state of embracing. And then you're going to see things are going to start to shift. They're going to start to break down. The longer you can stay in that state, you should see some very positive benefits from that in terms of starting to feel better, starting to see these symptoms start to shift and change and eventually settle down. Okay, guys, so let's move from bracing to embracing. Just add two letters on the front of it, E-M. Embrace, don't brace. Okay, two very opposite things. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.